darling. No. Quentin, this is a surprise. Good to see you, my boy. And it's good to see you, sir. Well, we were just having lunch at the floating river. We thought we'd stop by. Good, I'm glad you did. Uh, tell me, to what do we owe this honor? Well, I was just on my way to my estate in the Laurentians, and, uh, well, I thought I'd stop by on the way to Montreal and, uh, see how you lovebirds were doing. Well, that was very thoughtful of you. Uh, and how are you doing? I asked you first. That is. Well, we, uh, we really couldn't be better. See you. I'm so delighted to see you again, Quentin. Tell me, how long are you going to be staying? Oh, just till tonight. It would have been nice if we could have spent some time together. Well, we have a lot of time before my plane leaves. Well, I, I would love to get together and chat, but uh, I've got a very full schedule this afternoon. My plane doesn't leave until 7. That reminds me, see, I've got some great news. What news? I've been treating a patient recently who just presented us with a little gift. Four tickets to see Liana Oliver in the back. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. I've been trying all over, but the tickets are impossible to get. When? Tonight. I, I hope you don't mind, sir. No, no, not at all. Uh, I'd rather like to see that production myself. We'll have to find another couple to accompany us. No, I've got a better idea. Daddy, why don't you stay and go with us to the theater tonight? No, no, you'd waste one ticket that way. No, well, well we could ask Natalie, one of Grant's co-workers. I felt so sorry for her since she got to his no, Excuse me, I, I really don't no, think that's... No, what do you a... say, Daddy? Well, it's... Uh, Please. Very tempting. Please. Well, I do have to be in Montreal tomorrow morning. Well, just take a early morning flight. But Celia, your father has his own schedule. You can't expect him to change it on a whim. We haven't gone to the theater together in ages. We could have a nice dinner first, and then you could get a good night's sleep before you go off to Montreal. Well... Please? I never could say no to you, Celia. <laughs> All right, I'll stay. Uh, Quentin, what about your plane reservations? Huh, made to be broken. I'll just call the airline and change it. We are going to have the most marvelous time. <laughs> well, surely that's not possible. I see. Stand by. I'm hardly the type. I guess I'm going to have to pass on tonight. Oh, oh well, the uh, early flight to Montreal is already completely booked. Oh, that's too bad, sir. Oh, yes, it is. I was looking forward to seeing that flight. Can't you take a later flight in the morning? No, I can't. I'm afraid I've got a 10 o'clock morning uh, meeting in Montreal. Well, you know, darling, I, I, I guess we're going to have to invite somebody else, and I thought we might uh, ask the Scorpios to join us. Well, normally I'd say yes, but I really think we should ask Alan and Monica. Darling, we are with Alan and Monica every single day. I'd like to do something one evening without the family. No offense, sir. No, no offense taken. I don't see how you put up with them in the first place. They've been very kind. Yes, they have been, but see, I don't understand your objection. Holly is your best friend. I'm with Grant. I think a night off from that side of the family would do you a world of good. All right, all right, all right. Good. I'll, I'll call them right now. No, no, that's not necessary. I have to return a blouse that I borrowed from Holly, and I'll just stop over on the way home and ask them that. Well, why don't you run your errands now, Steve? Uh, do you want to come with me? No, no, no. I think I'll stay here. Uh, give me a chance to chat with my son-in-law. Quentin, I would love to, but I've, I've really got a full schedule this afternoon. No, you can't put me off that easily. Well, I'm not putting you off, really. It's just I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe we should go, then. Listen, I didn't fly all the way up here just to get the brush off from Grant. Now, surely you can uh, give your father-in-law a few moments of your time? All right, Daddy, yeah, of course I can. Come on, now, run along, my dear, and uh, I'll see you later on. All right, Grant, let's talk. 